With President Xi Jinping's arrival at Downing Street, this state visit was reaching its high point. From both leaders, the final word on Britain's first nuclear power station in two decades. With China chipping in a third of the $45 billion cost, the deal will go ahead. The Prime Minister and I were witnessing the signing of some intergovernmental and business cooperation documents, which include the Hinkley Point power station with the involvement of a Chinese company. This is a flagship project of cooperation between our countries in recent years. It will lead to more practical cooperation of this kind between the two sides. The British Prime Minister equally adamant. But actually the investment we're talking about today, we're going to build a nuclear power station in Britain that's going to have British steel. With that strength of political power behind it, work on the Hinkley power station is expected to get underway within weeks. The twin reactor plant could employ 5,600 people at the peak of its decade-long construction, coming online within 10 years. Although the highest price deal agreed by the President and Prime Minister, it was one among many. Here with the Queen's grandson, the Duke of Cambridge, President Xi Jinping looks at the latest sports car from James Bond's favourite motor manufacturers. Chinese money being invested in developing a zero emissions electric model. But according to the two leaders, this state visit isn't all about money. The stronger the relationship between our countries, the more we'll be able to have a serious dialogue. We may not always agree, but we can discuss issues openly and constructively. China and the UK are both major countries with significant influence. I am making a state visit to the UK to build on past achievements and elevate our political trust and practical cooperation in all fields. From here, the president will be heading off to the city of London, Britain's financial centre, to make a keynote address. The audience, made up of largely bankers and financiers, as well as Britain's finance minister, George Osborne, will be keen to hear what the president thinks the role of the city of London should be in the internationalisation of the Chinese currency, the renminbi. Richard Bestick, CCTV, 10 Downing Street, London.